Tay again, back with another video. So today we're going to be doing this uh, smoky eye with a pop of color. See that pop of color on the bottom? You see it? Because I see it. You see it? Mm-hmm. So my favorite color is Tiffany Blue, but we got to tone it down a little bit for fall. So we got a teal color right there. Still looking super cute. This is a perfect look for, you know, Thanksgiving dinner when you're eating your mashed potatoes and your turkey and you're like, mm-mm. Mm. It tastes better when you feel cute, you know? Probably not, but you know, I'm just saying, you know, just put this look on your eyes, okay? Okay, okay. Or if, you know, your boo thing is like, baby, you won't go out? You won't go out? I know you're looking like a snack, but we're about to eat dinner. Mm-hmm. Put this look on your eyes. Put them on your eyes, okay? Okay. So, today's worthy video is the direct translation is like, you know, smoky as in like fire, you know, but we gonna be looking fire after you follow this tutorial. <laughs> so, you know, the same thing. Okay, 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 okay. So, smoky in Spanish is ahumado. Lit. Get it? Lit? Like a fire? <laughs> Anyways, you better hit that red subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know what I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more because Tay Tay been out of the biz for a long time, okay? I'm gonna be on it. I'm getting on my grind. I'm gonna get this bread, this shmoney money, baby. Just kidding, I'm still broke. Broke college student, but what you know about that? Okay, um, yeah, if you want to see how I got this smoky look, smoky look with a pop of color, then keep on watching and I will show you how I did it. Hey, long time no see, girl. Hmm. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna start out by uh, priming our eyelids because I already did my brows off camera and I used the NYX Brow Pomade in shade Chocolate. I'm just gonna apply this. I'm gonna buff that out with a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm gonna move my mirror. I don't even sure if I organized before. I just don't know. have my nails with my nail okay, so we're doing a, some milky eye today and it's gonna be like the super simple -est. it's gonna be super simple okay okay, okay, okay okay so we're going in with the morphe 35o palette and we're gonna be taking the morphe m441 brush Wow, you can't see that. Okay. And you don't really need to go in with a light transition. I love, I just could talk so good. You don't need to go on with a light transition shade. That's so hard to say transition shade, transition shade, transition shade. Say transition shade. Transis. You know what I'm trying to say. Say it three times faster, but you can't. <laughs> Comment down below if you can, because I cannot. Okay. So we can use a darker color for the crease. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna dust it. And then we are going to blend this into the crease and start by circular motions a little bit. I gotta move my peppermint mocha, I apologize. And then you can use windshield wiper motions to get that color all in there and now we're going to darken up the crease with the shade right here we're going to apply it using the same motions for circular and then windshield wiper and then as i'm blending out this second crease color i am taking this a little bit further up just using the windshield wiper motions again bringing it closer to the brow bone So we're pretty much halfway done. I told y'all it was simple. 
I told y'all. We're gonna take this Wet n Wild flat eyeshadow brush and we're gonna take that same color, the second crease color right here and we're gonna pack that all over the lid. We're gonna be taking this darker color right there next to my broken one. <laughs> we're also gonna pack that on the lid. And then I'm also in the crease, I'm also using the windshield wiper motions just to blend all of the browns together. Then we're going to take the same brush and we're going to blend upwards, kind of blending all the brown up. And then we're going to make it even darker by going in with this super dark shade right there. We use the same brush, multi-purpose, you know, you know. We're also going to pack that on wood. Okay, so that's it for the upper portion of the eye. We're gonna move on to the face, but first clean up under your eyes. All right, so I'm gonna, oh my gosh, look, I look like I got punched in the face. Why is it so red? Ugh. I'm gonna use the Cer CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. <laughs> now we're gonna go in for a foundation with the Fit Me by Maybelline. Matte and poreless, and I'm in shade 220 natural beige. There's no going back. And then we're gonna take the BH Cosmetics brush. One fifteen. The flat kabuti brush. Does it look like that? Ooh, what is going on with this? I don't know. Okay, put that all over the face. Right now we're going to take the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and we're going to put that in the areas we want to bring forward and highlight. And then we're going to take the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge again and blend that out. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 30 Cafe and use this to contour and blend that out with the same one. Giving myself a nose job. That's how hard I'm blending this in my face. Now that we got that all blended out, I'm going back in and reblending that concealer in case it creased. And then we're gonna set our entire face with the Airspell Loose Face Powder. Don't judge me. I got bad smile lines. Okay, gotta make them things disappear. Now we gonna bake. Same. The roll back. The roll back. Okay. Now we're gonna dust off the uh, the powder with my. Eco Tools Gumi Brush, same one I use every single time. Now we're gonna go in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. Looks like it got electrocuted. These are all the markings from my nails. Now we're gonna go in with that. Hi. Did you even understand me? I didn't talk to you fast. Okay. We're gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Brush 114. Or one more full. I don't know why I said 114. We're gonna mix uh, these two. We're gonna dip, 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 blow and apply. Make sure you work that all up into the top of your ear. Dip, 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 blow, apply. You want that seamless contour? Okay, and then right down the bridge of your nose, honey bones. 
going to diffuse that sucker a little bit. We're going back in with our foundation brush and we're going to just tap right over that. Just going to tap that in the middle of the forehead. Just rude. And we are doing an all matte look today, so we're going to skip on highlighter. I know it hurts. <laughs> we gonna look good. Don't, don't even doubt it. We gonna look good in it. It's okay. We're gonna spray with our rose water by Mario Badescu. <coughs> so cold. I should really warm that stuff up before I spray it on my face. Now I'm gonna tap that in with my Bayuda sponge. Any black liner, pencil liner will work, but I use the Essence Kajal pencil. I'm gonna put that on my upper, what is that called? My upper waterline, my upper lash line. Now we're gonna apply mascara and I'm going in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. We're gonna be taking the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. We're gonna add a pop of color. So we're taking, taking this shade right here. And the shade is called Jada. And I'm taking the Beach Cosmetics Brush 119. It's a slanted eyeshadow brush. I tap off the excess. And I also got the brush a little bit wet. I sprayed it with the Mario Badescu Rose Water just to get all of that pigmentation out. Okay, so got the little uh, pop of color, a little teal shade in there. And as I'm packing it on, I'm kind of dragging that up into the brown shades. Not so much as blending because it kind of blends itself. You just bring it up. So I got our blue shade on. And to make sure that it didn't uh, mess up the smoky eye, we're going to go back in with that Wet n Wild brush. So there's the brown on it. I'm just going to blend out the blue like you know, get it out of there. And then we're just gonna apply mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, so you can stop here for the eyes if you want. I'm going to apply my Ardell Wispies. This uh, pack of five was only, you cannot see that. This pack of five was only $11.99, I think, without tax. But yeah, it's a good deal. You get five pairs of wispy lashes. So I'm going to apply these and I'll be right back. Okay, the lashes are on. Now we're going to do our lips. I'm going to take the NYX Lip Pencil in shade Mauve. Okay, we're going to go in with the NYX Lingerie Lippy in shade Lace Detail. If you put this on, don't breathe because they don't smell good. Just telling you. This is the completed look. Simple smoky eye with a pop of color. And honestly, for the lip choice, I went with a simple nude just because we went with a little color on the eyes. But if you want to be extra, you can go in with the same color that you put um on your lower lash line so i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and please please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment below let me know if you liked it or if you did it or what you want to see next i'm always open to some suggestions so uh, yeah and you can follow me on my socials i'll link them below and yeah thank you